Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to view the moon information on your Garmin Instinct crossover watch. I'm using the Instinct crossover solar. Shouldn't matter whether you've got the solar or non-solar version. This video is gonna work the same for everybody. So first, let me say, if you're coming here because you're a big moon phase fan like me, the Instinct crossover is really going to disappoint for you. Uh, I feel like the moon phase is the one thing that has gradually gotten worse with every release of the Garmin Instinct. The Garmin Instinct 1, the moon phase was awesome on it. The Garmin Instinct 2, the moon phase wasn't quite as good as the Instinct 1, but it was still pretty good. On the Garmin Instinct crossover, they've pretty much removed the moon phase from your watch face completely. And I'm not sure why they did that. Now, I'm talking about the delivered watch faces. You can obviously connect to Garmin Connect IQ and go try and find a third party watch face that has the moon phase. But to me, that's kind of disappointing uh, that you have to do that versus just using a delivered watch face. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. The only watch face on the entire watch that's delivered from Garmin that has anything to do with moon data is this one that I'm showing you here. And it's kind of cool. At a glance, I can look and see when is the moon rise for the current day, when is the moon set for the current day? And then I can see the moon on this little uh, graph up top. What's silly about it, where I think Garmin really missed the boat, is this moon that they're showing is not the actual current moon phase. It's always going to be a full moon, uh, which to me is silly. It would have been cool if they would have actually had this be the current moon phase for your location, but they did not. I'm gonna to go to a different watch face just to show you what I'm talking about, especially if you're somebody who's had the Garmin Instinct one or two. Um, let me find a good one. Let's, let, here's a good example. Let's choose this watch face and let's customize it. On the Instinct one and two, you always had a top right circle that you could always put the moon phase in no matter which watch face you were on. They have removed that on the Garmin Instinct crossover in your available data fields, none of them have moon phase as an option. You cannot add moon phase as a watch face data field. Again, really disappointing. So if you wanna go see the moon phase, you're gonna to have to basically download the moon phase glance, or you're going to have to add it in your control menu. And I'm gonna show you that. So let's go back. I've done it in both places. If I press and hold the top left button on the watch, that takes me to my controls menu. And one of the options you can have in there is your moon set data. If I wanted to go into it, I could simply press GPS and it would take me into my moon face information. There's the watch face that used to be a data field on the, or that is a data field on the Garmin Instinct one and two watch faces. Again, I don't know why they didn't give you that option on the crossover. That's one way you can get to your moon phase information. The other way you can do it is you can add the moon data uh, glance on your watch. If I press the up or down button on the watch face, that takes me to my glance list. And if I go down, I have moon phase as an available option there. If you don't see it in your listing, you can go to the bottom and do edit. It is on your watch. You just have to have it in your glance list. I should say you don't have to have it in your glance list. If you have it in your controls menu, like we looked at before, it'll take you straight to the glance without you having to have it in your glance listing, or you can have it in your glance listing and not have it in your controls menu, or you could have it in both. As with any glance, it kind of gives you a glimpse. Here's my current moon phase. There's the moon rise and the moon set for the current day. I can press GPS to go into the glance to get some more information. Now we're seeing the same thing we saw a minute ago when I went straight into it from the glance. I can use the up or down button. You can see that the default value is going to be your current day, 32% visibility, my moon rise, my moon set, the type of moon. And then I can use the up or down button to go to any day in the future, or I should say the past. I can use the up button to go to any day in the future. While I'm in the moon phase glance, I can also press and hold the menu button on the left-hand side. And instead of looking at the moon information for my current location, I can press GPS and I can change that. I can lo look at the moon information for a saved location. This is really a pretty cool feature, especially if you're a hunter or fisherman and you've got those locations saved. You can go, you know, maybe you're going hunting in a month and you wanna see what the moon information is gonna be like at your deer stand. You could do it by going to the saved location. You could also input GPS coordinates if you're going camping or something like that. 
You could put in the GPS coordinates. You can see what the moon information will be like at that current GPS location. And then again, you can use your current location. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it on current location. And again, use the up or down button. Once you're done looking at the moon information, you can simply use the back button to get back to your main watch face. It's really cool. Garmin does a really great job of moon information. The big negative again is if you want it on your watch face, it does not come on the crossover. You would have to go to Garmin Connect, uh, the Garmin Connect IQ app, try and find a watch face out there that has it and then download it to your watch. But that is how we look at the moon information using our Garmin Instinct crossover. I hope the video helps.